Hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? What's up, Fishbox friends? So, man, it's super early. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning right now. But we have something super special planned today. We are doing a store tour on the West Coast. I'm in Philly right now. I have a 6 o'clock flight. And I got to call a lift to give me a ride over there. I got to finish packing up some stuff because you know I did it last minute. But I'm super excited about the trip. It's Labor Day weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed it because by the time you see this, it'll be long gone and we'll be knee deep in September. So uh, sit back, relax, get your coffee. Let's go. Hey, so what's up guys? So just landed, headed to go get picked up. The owner of the fish, uh, the mailbox store is actually gonna pick me up, which is dope. And I had a good flight, got some good rest, but it's mad cloudy out here in LA. You wouldn't think it would be this cloudy. So I'm gonna go over here, try to find him so that we can get picked up, drop the stuff off at the store. They're gonna go work for the day and then I'm gonna pop back over. So I should see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, so we out in LA right now. What's really crazy is that I thought they said it never, it never rains in Southern California. It is definitely raining now, just sprinkling. I definitely wasn't expecting this. Anyway, but it's mad cloudy, but we're gonna make do. And I think it's still gonna be a good time. And you know, stay tuned. Hey, what's up, fish box friends? What's up, fish box friends? As you can see, that palm tree in the back means that we are not in Philadelphia anymore. We're actually in Cali, in LA to be exact. And you know, the mailbox stores are everywhere all over the US, and we want to do a good job of showing you guys the mailbox stores everywhere, give you guys a little inspiration, and let you know that you can do it your way. So currently, we just pulled up at Ship It LAX. It is a pack ship and mailbox rentals and Jason is in here we're gonna meet him in a second but I want to show y'all the outside they're still working on stuff and getting some signage installed so this isn't gonna be the final thing but we think it looks dope and it looks good enough so that we can go inside so let's go inside and check it out yo 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 what's up man what up, what's up Jason yo Say what's up to the YouTube. What's good, YouTube? <laughs> We've been going back and forth kind of yeah. on the internet a little bit and yeah. just you know talking about different ideas and yeah. kind of threw it out there. Like, Yo, if you're ever on the West Coast, come check out the new store. And what's it been, about four months since yeah. you moved in here? Yeah. Four months since we've been open. Um started slow and, and and just steady picked up but we're gonna sit down for a second talk and then we're gonna do a, a brief mailbox tour and just show everybody the store that cool most deaf let's do it all right so my brother appreciate you again man, nah, we, man i appreciate going, you we've been going back and forth now it's been a few months now man yep. and uh i know it was when we first started talking you were talking about man i'm thinking about doing this i got some mm -hmm. space mm -hmm. but like i like to start all of them man you know why, why a mailbox store started watching when well, my partner sent mm -hmm. a video of Lisa's song like oh, everybody, that's what else, everybody right? saw like right? everybody else that's like, right they, uh, I have a background in real estate so I understand you know the, the square footage so these little mini mailboxes they, they generate revenue um, and we talked and, and we were looking at some other business ventures and this one made the most sense yeah. so it came down to um, idea and execution within like 30 days yeah. found a spot found this mm. spot and then 
just really hit the ground running. I have a master's degree at YouTube University. So mm -hmm. after after following free tuition, free tuition, everything. <laughs> so after after watching her content, I just really started to dive in. I wanted to know more about the business. It's not as complicated as people may think, but the most important thing is location. So I knew that once we found this location, it was you just had to understand the business, what what uh, software people were using. I think one of the first things I asked you on YouTube in one of the comments mm -hmm. was. Uh, you know what software you're using or something like that you yeah know, you pointed me in the right direction but i stumbled upon you because right after lisa it was it was literally fish box i sent her a message on instagram i sent you a message on instagram and you got right back to me and yeah. it's been love ever since most of my life i've started a ton of businesses most of them have failed as most people do right mm -hmm. um but you take little things from each business that you start and apply it to whatever you're doing next that's right. So a lot of people that I speak to are kind of going through that process right now. They're doing their research to figure out what location works best for me and why. What research did you do? What websites did you go on? Who did you talk to? How did you come to that conclusion that this location here was the best one for this business? A lot of the research was really self. Uh, I've had a P.O. box for 20 years. Mm -hmm. the, I've never thought about canceling it. I pay every three months. Uh, I did until I had this. Mm -hmm. and. It's just such, you know, like Lisa says, it's low hanging fruit. It's the last thing people are probably going to cancel. But what are what are some recommendations that you would have to kind of show a landlord that I'm I'm gonna be somebody that's going to be here for a long time and do great business? Yeah, I think that that's it. Uh, a solid solid uh, references, credit, of course, reviews, like you said. Uh, if you have a home based business that you've been doing, showing the financials behind that would probably help. So if you're going from a home based business to getting a storefront. Something, something along those lines. Just, it just has to make them feel good yeah. uh, about you know renting your space. Did you go into this with some type of business plan and projections, or, yeah. or did you do something a little less formal? Uh, it's a mixture of both, really. It was, uh, there was a solid business plan, but it was more so for my partner and I. It wasn't to go to the bank and, and ask for any money or anything like that. So the business plan really consisted of what our startup cost was going to be and what our recurring uh, monthly costs were going to be. Everything from postal made down to what the lights were going to cost us each month, projection wise. And then from there, you, you uh, or what we did was, hey, we have a goal of filling X amount of boxes the first year, X amount of boxes the second year. And once you, you know that once those those numbers are locked in, mm -hmm. they're coming every single month. People are unlikely to to cancel them or switch out or anything that's like right. that. So you Let's talk about getting the word out, because that, that's a big thing. The first 30 days were rough. Yeah. Uh, I think we uh, we'll, we can look it up later. I think we might have had like five people the first month. So okay. I think we opened April 3rd. Um, by May, we didn't have anything. It was just yeah. no mailbox customers. We might have had a couple of virtual mailboxes. Uh, I'm a big believer in Google Ads. Two things that I would absolutely spend money on. Uh, every door direct postcards. Okay. You gotta let the neighborhood know that you're here. Uh, when we first started, we did a lot of door knocking too, this entire neighborhood. Um, let's talk about some of the ways that you're generating revenue. Uh, shipping is, is our number one right now because we're so new. You know, we just got a refrigerator, some concession stuff. Nice. Um, are you selling these? Or yeah, these for sale. Yeah, yeah? Topo okay. Chica and, uh, and Celsius. Okay. <laughs> and doing printing as well, yeah. you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, so we do printing. Uh, we'll have notary soon. We'll have live scan soon, so fingerprinting. How many uh, square feet is this? This is 800 square feet. Let's tour around a little bit, cool. man, and see, uh, see what we got here. Absolutely. Here's the front door. And when you come in, it looks like you have mailbox right here. Was yeah. that by design to put them right in the front here? Right in the front. Um, have this grassy area because eventually as we get these filled, that's right. we're gonna fill up two more banks at a time. Mm -hmm. Eventually a total, uh, the plan is to have 600 total. 600, so how many How many here, how many installations do you have? Uh, this 120, so 120. This, this is one cluster, this is another cluster, and there are clusters of 30. Oh, what's up, man? Thank you, bro, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Where did you go to get these made? Did you buy these from yeah. somewhere? Did you yeah, contract with these. somebody? The uh, These came from Home Depot. Um, yeah? And they're actually, half the cost of what uh these, these actual mailboxes these, yeah. these all came from home depot yeah they're, they're half the cost of uh where people normally have, have bought this and that includes keys does that yep. include keys, locks everything locks everything mm -hmm. okay and and each customer actually has their own key where they can come in not right. necessarily have to talk to you that's right they can just go right here which we found that people are still into that we yeah have people that come in they don't want to talk to anybody they just want to check their mail and get out. They don't want to have to check in with us, and that's totally fine. So obviously, mail will yeah. go in there pretty well, but yeah. what happens when a customer comes and they also get packages delivered, Amazon or whatever? Uh, so we scan it in, just like everyone else does with Postal Mate. Yeah. Uh, scan it in, they'll get a notification. 
Mm -hmm. and you know they come and pick it up usually pretty quickly is this something that they could get after hours or these are only open during regular business hours yeah for now it's only business hours we're open from nine to six all right um, so tell me about this middle area here they come through the door they yeah. don't necessarily have to get a box what, what do they got going on here uh we figured we needed a table one to break up the flow of the store when you walk in it was just a lot of open space at first mm -hmm. uh, so we put the table in mainly for people if they wanted to package anything that they brought into the store they needed to pack it and, and ship out or if people were just checking their mail and wanted to do it right here let's look at this little area over here with the they yeah. can actually come and, and buy some of this stuff yep yep this was installed by you or you and your partner no nah, we have a, a contractor he came in and knocked it out in like 20 minutes so this wall over here this was the first thing that i noticed when i came in yeah but from what you told me this was it looks it's really expensive, but yeah. from something that you told me, it was actually pretty economical. So explain to me what we got going on here. Yeah, we knew we wanted to do slats. Uh, they were really expensive, uh, a lot, like thousands of dollars. Uh, so we just went and got wood and just put them up. Did you have to negotiate anything with the, the landlord to be no. able to install stuff like this? Or no. they just pretty, pretty much said, yeah. install what you want install to do business? Want. Yep, and, okay. and take it out when you leave. I, I assume this is where the magic happens as far as yeah. packing ship stuff. So oh. walk me through about what, what happens over here. Yeah, um, everybody knows about the Mettler. No, we we got the scale. same one, yep. Yeah, so drop your boxes here. It links up with Postal Met. Well, uh, shout out to Postal Me. That's what we use that one as well. Big time. And Sarah, right? Sarah Rody. That's, that's right. right. Sarah, if you're watching this, <laughs> we're an another person using Postal Me. Yeah. We ship with FedEx, yeah. um, FedEx and USPS. So yeah. explain to me why you chose Square, what equipment you got, and yeah. how this is working for you. Yeah, we have the Square Register. Um, I swear by it. People, people uh, nickel and dime, and they use a bunch of other stuff. I'm not, this, we're not endorsed by Square either. So yeah. uh, I love every how everything is integrated inventory invoices what else you got subscriptions that was the big thing for mm -hmm. us i know you use moon clerk yep uh, but we were able to dial in the subscriptions and get recurring payments using square yep. um, people are worried about the fees it's such a high margin business i mm -hmm. you know you can't get me off of 2.9 percent versus 2.5 percent it's not it doesn't make a difference yeah. in the grand scheme of things when you're talking about ease of use day-to-day uh, -day operation. I don't want to have to worry about anything and Square's, Square has it figured out. Right. So t tell me about the, I mean, this looks slick right here too, man. This whole <laughs> this whole setup, this yeah. counter space. When you're building out anything, mm -hmm. like I said, I'm in real estate, we've, we've built stuff, we've done all kinds of stuff. You get towards the end and you're like, man, more money. <laughs> so it came down to like granite countertops or just like some wood mm -hmm. and we just went with wood. Tell me about these shelves. These are the Home Depot uh, specials. The lower levels, is for the stuff that's outgoing. So mm -hmm. you got USPS, FedEx, and, and UPS. Yep. Um, and you know, so for example, you know, when UPS comes tomorrow, we'll, we'll dump that stuff out. So yeah. The, the smaller stuff, the envelopes and the padded envelopes. Mm -hmm. We'll throw them out there and, and our driver comes, he picks them up. And, that's it. Tell me about this right here. You guys do sh uh, shredding. Yeah, That's another way to make uh, make some money from yeah. what I heard. Yep. Yeah, if uh, if you can find the clientele for it. Uh, Is this the company Coral Data? Yeah, Coral Data. Shred America, one or the other. Mm -hmm. uh, got an assortment of different boxes. I noticed this push-ups thing down yeah, here. Yeah, you see it. You Jonathan, see it. if you're uh, <laughs> you watching this, man, yeah, you got to get it in every now and again, that's man. Right, that's right. Especially uh, on having, slow days. Yeah, slow days, having kids, you know, you need to stay in shape any means necessary. Do you do you charge the customers for tape jobs and things like that? or? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, it depends. Like, if they come in, boxes aren't flapped, and they need, like, a label. Usually, they need a label printed with the tops yeah uh, flap down then yeah we'll, we'll charge them for that if it's just a label we'll charge them for the label and then um print it out and then throw it in in, in one of these sleeves yeah if it doesn't you know need to be taped on but you know sm as a small business you know people understand that yeah you know, these things cost money and that's right what site do you want to go to next uh we can go right here straight to the back there's not much over there the okay um was i guess you call this like back a house okay um it's where our mailboxes are it's where the mail gets inserted in the back yep keys are taped inside mm -hmm. uh, customers names are up top our bigger boxes that don't fit on the floor was this wall here when you moved in that you already installed this wall in yeah. okay yeah. got a tv uh we're gonna put up probably you know run like pickup times maybe mm. run some ads for local businesses well let's talk about the sign because yeah. uh that's something you don't necessarily think about when you're getting started um, yeah. what company do you go through for something like that do you just have a local people somebody yeah, that you just use a local guy his name is steve and okay let me, see. let me see if i can find steve castle castle signs castle signs yeah okay. they're, they're local they're right down the street so we support okay. as many local businesses as we can yeah definitely um, so steve i'll send this video to you later let's talk about the name ship at lax what what made you go that route 
I can't remember, to be honest with you. <laughs> L- I knew it had to have LAX because we were so close to LAX. I wanted mm-hmm. to make sure that people knew. People from LA, I'm born and raised here. My mm-hmm. partner's uh, born and raised here. Tim, who's our, our GM, is, is born and raised here. Certain pride that comes with it. So you want to let people know that, hey, you know, this is an LA-based you know, business where we're not in Orange County. We're not somewhere else down the street. We're not in Santa Monica or Culver City. We're, we're you know, in LA or LA proper. But let's talk about that part because I went in solo. And one yeah. of the things that I wish I would have done would have been to go in with a partner. So yeah. we can talk about some other things that you would recommend for people just yeah. getting started. But how important was it for you yeah, for sure. to go in with a partner, yeah. a partnership of people that kind of had the same vision that you did? For sure. Uh, couldn't, can't do everything by yourself. It's a lot easier if you have people who are good at really, really good at other things and you know your strengths and you know mine wasn't construction or mm-hmm. building things out or logistics or anything like that um, really don't have the patience for a lot of it but mm-hmm. startups are something that I'm really good at and understanding branding and marketing and things like that so we collabed on that um, hired one of our great friends Tim who um, has experience with FedEx mm. uh, so you know he understands the logistics of, of FedEx it's great hiring your friends and partnering with your friends on on different ventures and, and watching it grow. Well, let's talk about that, man. Uh, definitely, the goal is to fill this wall up. Yeah. For sure. But is there? Uh, can you see that anything else in here where you could put, like? Could you put something on this wall? Could you put mm-hmm. something back there? Or, or once you fill this up, this this will be. I it'll be time to move to a new location. No, uh, I love this location. I don't ever want to leave this location. Okay. I think once we fill up uh, 600 boxes, we just gotta do what you do. Yes. Yeah. Take mail, file it, sort it, take packages, and just do it without the mailbox and key. Mm. Um, so packages only, or packages and letters, but just you know, yep. no actual physical mailbox. What's up, Fishbox friends? So it's my last day in Cali, and I just realized I didn't close out the vlog. If you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know. Uh, if you have a mailbox store you want me to come tour it, let me know. We'll see if we can come out there. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.